Hi, this is Brenda from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. Today we're finishing up our uh, Sweet 16 Christmas cookie recipes. We're going to be making Chex Mix today. I know it's not a cookie, but it's definitely a favorite around um, the holidays at our house. And this recipe, you can definitely make it your own. You can, um, there's so many variations that you can do to this recipe. So I've had, uh, I put one stick of butter in my roasting pan and I have melted the butter in the oven. It's been in there at 250 degrees and we're going to be adding uh, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. This is going to add a lot of good flavor to our mix here. And I also have some uh, onion powder and garlic powder. Now the recipe calls for three quarter teaspoon of the garlic powder and half a teaspoon of the onion powder, but I like more flavor. <laughs> so I put at least one teaspoon of each of the garlic powder and the onion powder uh, to give it more flavor. And it also um, calls for adding one and a half teaspoons of seasoned salt, but I usually leave that out because there's gonna be enough salt in this mixture from the peanuts and the pretzels. So I'm just gonna stir this up a little bit. So we can mix it up with the butter. And we're gonna add a total of nine cups of Chex Mix. Now you can do three cups of the corn, three cups of the rice Chex, and three cups of the wheat. Today I'm leaving out the wheat. Um, so I have a total of nine cups of uh, Chex cereal here, and um, half of it is corn and half of it is rice. So definitely if you're uh, doing gluten-free, then you'll just stick with these two kinds of Chex. And I'm going to add a cup of pretzels, which are not gluten-free. And I'm also going to add some goldfish. I've also added... Um, Cheez-Its to this, and those are also delicious in here. Just gonna stir this and make sure it's all coated. Mmm, smells good. Okay, and. I do add uh, one cup of peanuts to this or any kind of nuts that you want to add, but I, I have someone that uh, can't have any nuts that I'm going to be giving this to, so I will add this at the very end and put aside um, the nut-free mixture for that person. So, and certainly you could add more than one cup of nuts because really you have a lot of mix here and um, like I said, make it your own. So we're gonna put this in the oven. It's gonna cook for a total of one hour, but we're gonna take it out every 15 minutes, stir it up, and put it back in the oven. And we'll show you the, uh, the end product. So our Chex Mix is finished. I added the nuts. And after cooling, I bagged it up in these um, pretty, holiday bags and if you wanted to have like a sweet and salty mixture you could add M&Ms at this point or whatever <laughs> whatever kind of snack mix you want very easy and uh, much cheaper to make it yourself and like I said uh, it's very versatile you can add whatever you want I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you try making your own Chex Mix and thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like this video.